um, despite the tendency of both me and Maxfield to kind of ramble onwards, less is more. Um, one of the things that I have noticed is that in great writers, great speakers, they are able to convey complicated ideas in the most concise fashion possible. Yeah, and if you talk to, uh, if any lawyers are listening, they will understand this perfectly well. If you talk to lawyers who their whole job, in particular if you're a litigator, is to communicate things to a judge and to persuade a judge in your favor as opposed to the, the opponent's favor. And one of the foundational aspects of legal writing is that you should write fewer words, use less space, write shorter uh, motions, shorter briefs than longer briefs. So, you know, in college, you write a thesis, right? And how does it work? It says, you know, you have a 40-page minimum. You have to write at least 40 pages. So what do you do? You go out and you just, like, throw everything in the kitchen sink at it, whether it's logically tied to, the, to your thesis or not. Well, in law school, the way they teach lawyers is that they give you a page maximum. So they'll say, you have two pages maximum to write this memo. You have two pages maximum to write this brief. And what that does is not only does it re, you know, reinforce the requirement that you really very simply state your thesis and then tie everything together through logic and only include the absolutely necessary pieces, but it also makes it much easier to digest your message because only the things that are necessary is there. So when you're thinking about writing, really great writers they go for, and this is something that I, I think that maybe non-professional writers don't appreciate as much because there's this thought that like, oh, the longer you, you know, the longer the pieces, the better they are. Well, that is not necessarily the case by any stretch of imagination. As a general rule, great writers try to do as much in as little space as possible. 